we wanted to give our time to give back again and help out at this place today. Are you excited to do a nice hard day's work? This is an early Christmas present. What did you do? So hang up your stockings, put the tinsel on the tree, because Christmas is coming, my dear. What's happening, Free Gang? We are coming to you live. But not live. From very cold Telford in England. We've stopped here to see some friends on the way back from our previous place that we were in our previous video. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out. It's a very, very special video. Before we tell you what we're doing today, let us know, guys, where you guys are coming live but not live from. <laughs> Dogs, dogs, dogs. Yeah. Uh, we hope you guys are doing well and have you got snow there? Apparently it's snowed in London and we've missed out. We've seen all of the pictures of people with snow and we've missed out. Check it out guys, come down here. Firstly, check out Jojo's glorious hat. Look at that. That's what he's decided to wear today, so. And we've got dogs, dog fest. Dog fest. We have Libby and we have Layla. Layla. And Shekel. Shekel was the one that's Shekel. super loving, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> we have in another room is a big dog called Luna mm -hmm. and then a cat called Mika who basically rules everything. Oh, there's Luna. Despite being the only cat, Mika is top dog, basically. Yeah, <laughs> top cat. <laughs> um, what's really sweet as well, so all of these dogs our friends rescued and I think Mika was a kitten when she came into the family and Libby decided to foster mother her and started producing milk and Mika, the cat, that's right, fed from Libby the dog. No. That's like so, so sweet. Lovely. And it's I've never seen it before. You you know what the stereotype of cats and dogs is? They play with each other. Libby, Layla and Mika, they all play. And they'd like rough play and everything. She'd be like, Meow, and, and they bite each other's legs. I've never seen anything like it. It's great. How are you doing today? Good. You just had some tofu scramble, didn't yeah. you? How it's, was it? It's completely gone, as you can see. I think we're going to be having some as well. I saw our Are friend we? Luke hanging around with a plate of it. It looked like he was delivering it to us. Really? Mm. Okay. And the doggies are very interested. Hello! Waking up with dogs is the best I feeling know. ever. They were jumping up on the bed. I thought waking up with me might top that, but... No, 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 dogs. Okay. And yeah. one cat. <laughs> yeah, they all jumped on the bed this morning, didn't they? Came and said hello. Yeah. They're so lovely. Hey, you got yours? Yeah. You tried it yet? I'm going to try now. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> hello. <laughs> you got a new best friend all of a sudden. Yeah. He's my best friend anyway, look. I was eating yesterday and he was just going like this, like a poor like on me. Mm. Like, can I just have a bit? Oh, I know, I know. Look. <laughs> oh, really? You couldn't resist. The other two's just run off. They were going to be fuming now that you fed Luna. What you got? Oh. Luke showed me this way to peel an orange. Whoa. Do you know how to do it now? Um, yes. Hello. <laughs> dog fest, dog fest, dog fest, dog fest. Oh my goodness. Okay, you need to take some control now. I have never eaten breakfast with an audience before. This is amazing. <laughs> it is so funny. What's going on here, Bob? Doggies are having some food. What's Bob got? What's Bob got? What's so, Bob got? right, I'll give you a pink. There you go, Shekel. Bang. <laughs> Layla, what are you doing? Layla? Luna, there you go. Luna, and here we go. Here we, here we go. You want one? So delicate. Oh, look, Very delicate. One's gone and hid around the bush <laughs> with this. <laughs> yeah, you can see it, Oh. Right, guys. So, we have come out into the town of Wellington, which is not far from Telford, where our friends are staying in Shropshire. Now, right now, we're in a supermarket in Wellington. The reason we are here is because we wanted to give our time to give back again and help out at this place today. So, our friend Jay, who we've been staying with overnight, she's been volunteering for years at this food bank that they have here. It started off as a food share where to prevent food waste, they had food that would come from the supermarkets here and then it was a donation based collection to serve the community and people that needed food. However, it's expanded so much that they have two areas now. They have this social supermarket, which is basically discounted food that has gone past the best before date, but not by the use by date. So similar to a place like that Rogers that we went to, the wholesale yeah. food place. And some things might be... And some things might be knocked on the floor by Katie. You right now, not yeah. knocking stuff? 
Um, yes, yeah, so, so some things might be damaged as well. There's lots of different reasons um, why food ends up here. So there's one side which is this social supermarket and then another side which is a food bank for families who are on very, very low income who literally cannot afford food. So this place helps them out. And that's where we're helping out today, helping out bringing in food, sort out, serve people that are needing food as well. We just want to put the time in to help out today. So just to let you know a few statistics, they save over 100 tonnes of food from being wasted every single week and they serve over a thousand families every single week as well so it's doing great stuff here i would strongly recommend guys if you are local to this area and you're able to volunteer get in touch with them they're in the i think it's called the save it discount store in wellington also if you have a local food bank or a place like that that you can volunteer at local to you get down there see if you can help out and volunteer just put a bit of time in just to yeah. give back and help out as much and as you can. Course, and of course, it's always important to donate food to these places. Yeah. Most that is helping out as well, yeah. Yeah, most supermarkets have an area at the front that you can just donate, you know, whatever. You, yeah. You know, pack of spaghetti or some beans or something. Yeah, so maybe if you're doing your food shop and you, you can grab a couple of extra items, donate them at the end. Yeah. Are you excited to do a nice hard day's work, Jojo, here? Yeah, all right. It's very yeah. cold in here. They don't have any heating and they have a lot of chillers and stuff like that. But, you know, we're still going to just get stuck in yep. and help out. Getting your jackets on. Nice. Looking good, Jojo. What These sort are you nice out? Nice ones, aren't they? they are good. It's an extra layer. You won't sniff an extra layer, will you? No. So one thing I just found out, I just wanted to share you, is that the supermarket actually helps fund everything going on here. So it pays for obviously the building, which means the food bank can carry on operating as it is. So this actual supermarket is really important to the whole operation here. So it's good that they've got this leftover discounted food that can be sold at a cheaper price and help fund this place. So this is the food bank area guys where all of the donated food is kept and what will happen is people will come in. Nice Christmassy trolley here as well that they can use. And sit on these chairs and then um, the volunteers here will ask them what they need, whether it's gluten free or vegan or anything and they'll go and pick the things and put them in the trolley for them. The lady who started all of this, um, for her it's all about choice, not just oh you get what you're given, and um, that people can come here and have a choice. Um, so they get to choose what they want? Or yeah, kind of... they get to choose what they want. Oh so. cool. This is all the packet stuff, um, tin food over there. They have Flowers, cereal. And what's quite nice as well, it's all set out according to dietary requirements. So it makes it easy for everyone to choose and it means that people do have that variety of choice available. So yeah. this is where all the fresh stuff and frozen stuff is as well. Yeah, and vegetables here. Yeah, fresh fruit and veg. It was really difficult because we were choosing food for a family earlier and one of the people in the family were gluten free so we had to check on everything that was here. So it was incredible how much stuff had wheat in it. Yeah. So I do feel for people who have wheat intolerance because there's so much. Really lovely as well that they do baby food, baby milk. So delivery's just come in. So this is food that you're going to be taking out the top and loading onto the shelves. So this is part of the food bank area. What did you do? I didn't realise it was split open and it's decorated the floor. Um, oh. Free gang, I just wanted to show you this. This is something extremely funny. Look at this pumpkin. Look how bubbly it is. That's so hilarious. So we're just talking about this shelf in here now. This is an area of different accessories. It's all a bit mixed up, so we're just trying to get it all sorted and in order. Yeah, this is non-food items. Yeah. Great job, you two. Brilliant. You kind of see everything now, get to everything. They must have known I was coming because they've got a freezer named after me. Right now we're collecting food for a family of six and so it's four meals. Yeah. Six, so we've got six pies here. All right. And so they normally give enough food for four days. Okay. For the family of six. We've got vegetables to go with the meals. 
just do a check of any food that might have gone mouldy or anything like that and that gets put into a certain area we shall go there for pig feed. Uh -huh. You guys are putting some stickers on food. Yeah. So the food comes in, it normally comes in on the use by date. So we have to stick these stickers on everything just to let people know that once it's defrosted, it has to be eaten yeah. straight away. So, so I'll find the stuff. And you put the stickers the sticker on. It. That's it. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sticker sliding. Is it very satisfying, Jojo, doing it stickers? Is quite satisfying. Shall I give them to you and you load them? No, you take two. Jojo, what was it you said about the name? That's me. Yeah. Your, your name's Frank Furter, is it? So we've just popped across the road from the food bank and supermarket because there's an Audi across there. Look, there's the Audi. Uh, yeah. There's quite a few things that we noticed they didn't have much stock of in there in the food bank, which we thought Pasta, maybe we could bulk beans, up. beans, things like that. So we thought we'd come here. Still and, in our jackets. Yeah, and make our own. Some would just ask me if I work here. <laughs> we might get a lot of that. So we're going to come here and try and get yeah. a food shop to donate. Yeah, make our own donations then. So, okay, let's get a trolley then. I was just looking for some baked beans, but I found these spaghetti hoops. They'll be good as well. So you got the beans as well. The box. What, what's going on? Quick, okay. There's too many in there. Okay, I've got it, I've got it. Okay, so we've got a lot of pasta as well Two now. Two boxes of pasta, we've got loads of beans and we've got spaghetti hoops. What, you're getting some soya milk? Yep. How are we going to get this open there? I don't know. Well, we'll we have to that. take the trolley and then bring the trolley back. So here we go, we're taking this in now to donate all this food. Oh, that's amazing, guys. We've got pasta. Because we know it's pasta was short, so. Baked beans. So much. And some soy milk in case you get any vegans coming. Thank you. We do have some. So all the food we've just got now is going onto the shelf. Yeah, we're thinking none of it rich. This place is closing in a minute. We've worked so hard, especially Jojo. He's worked so hard today, unloading all the truck. And I, yeah, I unloaded. People. You got in the truck, didn't Probably. you? So they have some left though, because they actually get a lot of donations from Greg's. And but it's only 24 leftover. hour stuff. It's got to be used or taken yeah. that day. So they said that we could have a vegan bake. That's really nice. Yeah. I said what? only if it's going to go to waste otherwise, but this mm. place is closing now. So the only thing I do want to do though is next door where they have the actual supermarket I do want to go and buy some things because buying from there helps this place run helps mm. the, yeah. the food bank for all their costs and everything so we'll get we'll buy some things from in there shall yeah. we? okay we've got a basket so are you trying to squeeze in a little shopping challenge yeah, well, into like, this video well like I said this is the, the money that they raise here goes to help the food banks I've just seen this these are about I think about 12 pounds online but they're two pounds in here holy moly mackerel i know that's very good so i'm gonna buy one of those big tub of we're gonna be heading home tonight yeah yeah be good remember when we went to places like rogers before we got like fizzy drinks and stuff like that and that yeah. served us on journeys yeah get some stuff for the journey so that'd be yeah. good oh look at these for example you know <laughs> jo -jo. look what he's found show daddy what you found some mango yo-yo oh because we get these we have the strawberry ones is it yeah, yeah. these are mango ones put them in mummy likes that these are really good oh br they're Playing brilliant chalk. we get some of these for jojo stocking for christmas pillows. yeah stocking fillers yeah, Jojo just came to us and said, did you see me moonwalking in the background? And then we said no, so we had to rewind and check on the camera and look at him moonwalking. So important use of our time. Roll that clip. What you found? Green cola. Oh, it's is, like... that, is that for the way home? And beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going with that? Well, I'm just leaving it here for help. Health and safety reasons, I can't push it up the ramp because yeah. you, need to, so you need still toe cap boots, which I don't have. Oh. But we just had another delivery of donations in, so just packing that away, me and Jojo have been. Oh, well done, Jojo. You've worked so hard today. I'm so proud of you. We've actually got a little surprise for you when we get back to Jane Luke's after this. 
Yeah. 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 An early Christmas present. Oh. <laughs> Come around. What are you doing? They've got eat real crisp. You like those? Do you want I like some? E I like eating real. I don't like any fake eating. Tomato and basil. There's lots of tomato and basil, but there's also sour okay, cream. Well, and These are 50p. Is that good? That's bargain. quite good, yeah. They're normally over a pound, I think. We're doing well. We've got a basket full. We're doing well. You think this is a challenge, don't you? So we're just finishing up, guys, uh, getting our shopping, and then we're going to be leaving the food bank for today. It's been quite an experience actually being yeah. here, really eye opening about the statistics about how much food would otherwise be wasted but is saved and how many people it's able to help out. So these I find are really, really essential. I'm going to put a link in the description for this specific place if you want to find out more about it, find out where it is. Maybe you're local, maybe you're able to come down and either donate or volunteer. Or maybe you're someone in need that actually needs food. Exactly, and, and you didn't know about you it. You can come here up to uh, twice a week and, and you'll, you'll be able to get meals for four days for you, yeah. for you and your family. Otherwise, though, guys, if you can donate via the link in the description, that will help them so much as well to keep this place running. Everyone here is volunteering their time, but obviously there's running costs for the building and things like that. Mm. So anything helps. If you're not able to, if you, and you have any food banks local to you, any way that you can help them in any way, especially around this time of year, is really worth it. And we want to say a massive thank you to all the volunteers here, and especially <laughs> our friend Jay, yeah. who works so hard for this place, and she's been doing it for many years she as is, well. So thank you so much. Thank yeah. you for coming. You've been awesome. Yeah, You've been a big help, especially with that Muller delivery. That was fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank Good you. Good old for, Jojo. Thank you for giving us the opportunity yeah. to come here and help because it feels so good for us so to important. give back. Yeah. And you heard some of the stories, and you can't say them on here, but it's yeah. a really needed yeah. place. It is. It is. So thank you again. Back to dog fest. Hey. hey Luna. Hey mate. Oh, dogs are warm. Oh, Let's yeah, stroke the me, dogs. Stroke it, hello mate. Oh, Shackle, you just can't help yourself. So guys, we are back at our friend's house, as you saw of all of the dogs. And yeah, what a day that was. Really, really busy. I'm sorry if we didn't film too much in there. It's just that we yeah. were there to work. Yeah, we had to prioritize working. And obviously, we've got to be conscious of filming when there's, uh, when there's people in there. But we wanted to share this with you because we wanted to raise awareness of people who are in these situations and, and how everyone can help in a different way as well. Yeah. And you know, it was a really valuable experience for us because we found out how much food is prevented from being wasted and how it then goes on to help other people. Yeah, and they don't waste anything there. Yeah. Even the food that is not fit for human consumption goes to animal sanctuaries. Yeah, because pigs will just go through anything. They Pigs will eat anything, so yeah. Last time we were up here, you remember before we did a shorts video of Katie at the animal sanctuary, a lot of the food that we gave them had come from the food bank that we were at which was the leftover stuff wasn't it yeah it was yeah also it feels so good to help got a doggy out. coming in yeah. <laughs> it, it, just, it just feels so good to help out mm, and definitely. um i would say that's actually a tip of the day okay the tip of the day if you're someone that's suffering in any way and you're feeling down then if you can go and volunteer somewhere or do something to help someone else it just lifts your spirits it just makes you mm. feel so good yeah when you realize what a difference you can make it inspires you to do it more yeah and that good those good feelings they just last for days yeah. as well that's what i find and we think that's a really good example to be sharing with jojo and showing to jojo as well and jojo he was plugging away he wasn't just stood at the side while we did stuff and so we've got a little surprise a little present for him that we're going to share with him now jojo jojo he's been running around with a toy sword and his funny hat Come down here, we've got a surprise for you. It's this little doggy. Hello, doggy. <laughs> Can I have this doggy? No. Can I have him? That's a hat. This is an early Christmas present. It's something to do with snow, right? Wim's Ice Odyssey. You know about this book, don't I you? I do, yeah. You wanted it. Yeah, this is um, actually our friend who we're staying with at the moment, Jay Charlton. She is an author and she's written this beautiful book about Wim, this little boy called Wim. It's based on Wim Hof. It's all about him and his adventures with cold water swimming. Yeah, and actually Jay is very good friends with the actual real Wim Hof. That's so cool. I know, and he's written the foreword for this book as well. So. 
you must know about w Wim Hof, guys. But this would be a really good Christmas present for any kids, nieces, nephews, friends, kids. Yeah, actually. Especially. Even adults as well, probably. Yeah, it's a lovely book. So we'll put the link in the description if, for any of you that want to get this book. Thank you so much, yeah. Jay. Well, yeah, this was a gift from Jay. Actually, it wasn't a gift from us. This was from Jay herself. Look what else Jay's given you as a gift. Come down. A hat. Oh, just like the one in the book. With, same as Wim's hat. Yeah. Now, take your top off, stick your arms up and go out in the snow. <laughs> Does he look the same? Put your arms in the air. <laughs> it's uncanny. Also, Jay just reminded me that there's a section of the book which is really important because it teaches children about the safety, um, being out in nature and being uh, near uh, water in nature. You know, we don't always teach kids about that and... Um, yeah, all the elements need to be respected, don't they? Yeah, they do. So, yeah, it's, it's a really good book for that as well. <laughs> Wim, since you've had a shave, you look amazing. <laughs> How have you got the hat on that you just gifted to Jojo? Uh, he, well, he wanted to wear the other hat for the time being, so I'm just keeping it warm for him. And yeah, and you're also mm. keeping yourself warm with a blanket and a dog as well. Yeah. Good. Up you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Bob. These two. Yeah, come on then. Go on. Up you go. <laughs> Luna's just there, oh, just chilling. And here comes Libby. Woo! <laughs> here they all go. Oh, both of you! Hello! Lick his face! <laughs> and now look at you two. You've got the blanket around him as well. Yeah. <laughs> you now Shekel's trying to get involved. Shekel. Where are you going? She's not an obstacle course, man. So that is it for another video, guys. Thank you for following us on this Vlogmas journey. I hope you have enjoyed it. So that is where we're going to end this video, guys. Next time you see us, we will be back in London. And without any dogs. And hopefully with some snow. Unless we can sneak some of the dogs back with us. We'll, we'll take at least two. Yeah. No, we won't no. do that. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Just remember, no matter where you are in the world, you guys always stay free. And just keep rising.